Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you one of the best graph visualization tool which is very helpful in computer programming and not just for computer programmers but for anyone who's learning data structures and algorithms it's a very helpful and amazing tool because in graph there's a lot of algorithms in which you have to visualize how it's working, how it's connected and how you're moving from one node to another. So the tool's name is Gravy and it's developed by X underscore JP and this is my code process blog of the week. So he has given the code of his project at GitHub and so let's just move on to his site. So this is the site and as he said Gravy is short for graph visualization. And so this is the site basically what you can do is you can just create graphs you can create all kinds of graph undirected, directed, oriented, acyclic, complete graph. So it's a beautifully created website it's an amazing project and so you can create whatever graph you like. You can see there's so many options. You can even create a binary search tree. And then let's just minimize the toolbar. We'll get to this later. Then we have this algorithm, depth for search, breadth for search, dextra, bidirectional dextra. So we have all these algorithms. And you can visualize any algorithm. So whatever algorithm you want, you can just visualize it. So let me just clear this graph and generate my own graph. So using the toolbar, you can create a graph of your own. So you can create whatever graph you like, you can make it as complex as possible, you can make it as big as possible. So for right now, let's just make a simple graph. So let's just make something like this. Then I'll create the edges. So I can create the edges as like this. So let's just make it like this. Okay. Now suppose I want to see how depth first, depth first search works. So I'll just click on depth first search and let's just say visualize. So you can see it goes from here to here and then here done, then 6 to 7 done, then 3 to 4. And likewise if you want to see how breadth search is working then you can simply do breadth first search. So breadth first search will work something like this, first adjacent edges and then the far edges, far nodes. And you not just normal vertex, you can create a lot of options in the toolbar which you can see vertex deletion, edge deletion. You can have weighted edge, you can have edge directions, and you even have text editor and all these things. So you can customize it according to your wish, and you can create whatever graph you like. So it's an amazing, it's an amazing project because many times in questions you're given a set of nodes and you're given whatever node is created, then you have to perform some graph algorithm on that. But many times you're stuck, and so you don't know where you're getting stuck with your code. So now what you can do is you can just jump on this website and create the graph, create the nodes and whatever algorithm is there, you can just visualize the algorithm in front of yourself to see how you're going wrong or to see where you're going wrong. So, and if you're not able to understand any of these algorithms, then obviously you can just make the graph in front of yourself and see it happening in front of you. So you can create a lot of these things like this is a binary search tree. So you can see that on binary search tree, you can perform all these algorithms and all. So the concept is really, really cool. So at all, if you're having problem in graph algorithms or if you want to improve your graph skills because and you're not able to, if you're having trouble in visualizing it, then you should just directly jump to this website and see all the options, see all the algorithms, look at the toolbar and then just start visualizing and start coding according to it. So, and that's why it's my code courses blog of the week. So that's all guys. Thank you.